It is 6 a.m. and it is the morning of the first processing day of 2022. About to light the scalder and it'll take two hours for it to heat up. This morning, I get to watch Kylie milk. You take a break, no carpet tunnel this morning. She, mor she milks in the evening, I milk in the morning usually. I was at the river lot lighting the, scal the scalder, chicken processing day. So I forgot to get uh, Daisy's milk warmed up. So I gotta go to the house and get it. This, by the way, is yesterday's milk, not today's warm milk. It's nice and chilled. So I got the milk up there to the barn and ready to tuber. And I didn't have the tuber. So I had to ride all the way back down here to the house to go with the tuber. Yeah. That's a breath. <clears throat> the sheets moved. And these guys, we, we caught them last night. Uh, if you saw that video, we, put them, we pulled the truck in the netting and turned it on for uh, predator protection. So now we're about to undo the netting to pull the truck out. So much prep work goes into this. Like y'all don't even know. All week, stuff like this. Tire flat, gotta air it up. So I'm heading to the lot with the chickens before that tire goes flat. Come back here. It's got a steady leak in it. So I'm gonna try to make it there. Hope they won't be making sparks down going down the road. You noticed my new hat it says featherman poultry processing equipment we have finally built the bullet and bought a, a whole new system here this is gonna be a huge game changer for a poultry operation it'll get us from being able to do before 100 birds a day we should be able to do three 400 birds a day maybe 500 i don't know sky's the limit has scalability we're super excited to be using this equipment for the first time today Hey y'all, we're about to go green light on processing day 2022. Uh, this is Corey and Anna. They're from uh, Blue Mountain Homestead. They're our friends. You might recognize them from the pig processing video back earlier this year. Um, they help us processing, I think it's like the third year they've helped us. I think this is the fifth year we've done poultry processing and it's to keep with that tradition. Every year a woman has had a baby in her tummy or on her back. <laughs> Anna's got their holds. Six months. Six, months. Six yeah. months. So just keeping up with the traditions. <laughs> There's some more of our friends just pulled up. Yeah. Well, it's uh, 645 and we are done with uh, the chicken processing. There's Corey and Anna go over there, turn the power off. And we are about to head to the house and put the chicken in the freezer. And that's going to take a little while and milk two cows. And we've been, we got up at five this morning. So I'll be glad to sit down whenever we get done. Bye -bye. So at 7.30, I'm heading up to milk. We're, we have divided and conquered Kylie's inventory in the chicken. I'm getting ready to head up there. And I just realized as I was passing a chicken trailer, one of our red crates fell out on the road. Um, so when I get done milking, I'm gonna have to go back to the river lot and see if I can find it. But in the meantime, just look at that. Yeah, that's pretty. It's 7.40 and I'm still milking. Farm life. So, I'm done milking and looks like Kylie's done inventorying the meat. I'm gonna see the light on the shop. I think I'm gonna go home now. I've been up to see the sun rise and set. Time to go home. So it is 8.30 and I went on a egg crate hunt and have successfully located it. Now I'm going home, I'm gonna take a long shower and hopefully sit on the couch until I fall asleep. So that was poultry processing day 2022. Uh, kicked off yesterday 
and it was a very busy day to give you an idea of uh, the direction traveled here's the path every one of these lines represents where I went coming back like I went like six or seven times to the river lot seven eight times to the barn just all over the place very busy day this is what it felt like no lie